Um, Th- this is movement, point. isn't it? For I'm sorry? This is movement for an evangelical leader, isn't it? To now no, say well, you support civil I, I would civil call this looking at a realistic landscape. Now, again, you may call it movement. I call myself a realist. Are and, there others who are agreeing with you among other uh, Christian leaders? Well, you're, you're right about that. Uh, what? Did we lose... Uh, Bishop Jackson, on that, that question that I... Oh, <laughs> oh there you are. <laughs> there you are. Are there other Christian leaders who... Uh, that was almost a setup, bro. I know. I was like, wait a minute. I had that question. I needed the other. Are there other Christian leaders who agree with you on that, that, that I, you should accept civil unions? No, I, I think that this, is a, this, this would be a split issue. I think a lot of people would disagree with me. Um, but I think that we're embroiled in a battle that's unfolding. And, you know, the reality is you've heard my motives and my perspective. Whether you agree with them or not, you hear that I'm about protecting the institution. I'm not trying to beat up on a group of people. I think everybody needs rights. And I think right now the way the thing has progressed, this whole battle and um, all of that, that realistically where I differ with Obama and uh, with Biden is that they are not for a marriage amendment. I'm in the state of Florida working about for a marriage amendment as we speak. Um, so I'm for a marriage amendment, see, because they don't agree that you should close this no, door. No, but, John, but John McCain doesn't support or did not support, didn't vote for a federal one. Well, he, he does support that now. He may not have voted for it previously. Uh, I am told by his campaign and others uh, that he would support a federal marriage amendment. He said uh, if it's needed. Right. And the if it's needed issue becomes state by state, this thing is being okay. passed what, out. It's what did you time. think of Sarah Palin last night? And when this issue of marriage came up, she had an opportunity yep. to distinguish her beliefs, and a lot of people feel she didn't. Joe Biden said, oh, I'm glad to hear you agree with me. And he talked about federalizing benefits, and it was her opportunity to distinguish it, and, and some some people feel she did. And I'm wondering how um, no, people on the Christian right are thinking about this. Well, I think you're two schools of thought. A lot of folks were upset that she didn't say, hey, there's a marriage amendment on the ballot in Florida, California, and Arizona. And I support their efforts in protecting marriage, while at the same time, uh, as between one man and one woman, at the same time, I think that the legal rights for gay people should not be abridged. And some of the things that you mentioned, that Biden mentioned, were the tip of the iceberg. I think you would agree with well, this, that these were minimal civil rights issues that he talked about about visiting someone in the hospital and transfer of property. And uh, she missed an opportunity to say, I'm for marriage, but I want to take it a little bit further. But I am not uh, against gays having the full uh, protection of the law and all these opportunities. She could have defined that thing clearly, and she probably would have had a lot more people enthusiastic about um, even more enthusiastic about her campaign. She missed an opportunity. And there have been then people grumbling on the um, religious right. There have been. I think there have been. I think a lot of folks were just happy uh, that she did well uh, compared to the whole uh, debacle with the, the clips from various interviews, etc. Um so there's one school of thought that went that way. Another school of thought would say, hey, she presented what she presented. She stood her ground on the basic issues. But uh, I do think that she seemed a little wishy-washy and, and unclear uh, on the marriage issue. She left making it sound like the position with McCain and his group, she and McCain, and Biden and Obama were exactly the same, and they're not. And even the subtlety of my position of saying, I believe that we're going to have to work out some kind of civil uh, unions slash uh, rights specifically all across the country um, is a little different than Obama-Biden. And I also am for um, the um, a marriage amendment. 
I think she could have parsed that, made it clearer. Uh, I... oh, we've lost him again. <laughs> Something is happening uh, with... Uh, we call it spiritual uh, warfare. Your phone there. went out there for a second. There. Yeah, and, I, and I'm going to have to run in a second. I hear you. But, but, I, but I do think that you're right. I think she missed an opportunity to be clear, to, to establish some... Well, um, uh, well, just one quick question with regard to that. Will you and other leaders, uh, evangelical leaders, pressure the McCain campaign and her, too, to be more clear as we go? Yeah, for me, no. I guess my only pressure is going to be we're going to be asking for in the states that we have battleground issues with the marriage amendment. We would love to see them show up and do, do their thing and say we're for you. Uh, that's a request. That's not something we mandate. And as you say, we don't know how aggressive uh, McCain is going to choose to be as he's attempting to... Um, well, he's got a lot of other problems. There and you go. In California and Florida both, uh, the, the, the forces who are pushing the marriage amendment don't look like they're in a good spot right now either. Well, I, I think we're in, we're in a good spot. I mean, I think in Florida... Um, you get a high level, a uh, high break uh, point, 60%. That produces its own problem uh, in that you got to get to convince a whole lot of people to get really excited to show up and just to vote. And to remember, oh, by the way, this is important to me. Um, so uh, I, I think that both, all three campaigns are doing uh, well. Um, and that Will people, you give up if uh, California goes down? They already have marriage, so if the ballot measure doesn't pass, it'll be another few years. Are you going to still try to take the, that right away? Uh, you call it taking a right away. I, I'm, I'm seeing, let me say it's casted like this, and then I must go frame the discussion like this. My concern is that traditional marriage is potentially becoming extinct in the country and maybe in my black community very much. Um, well, see, I look at it like it's becoming expanded. It's growing. It's becoming bigger. Well, We now have many more married people because people who are gay can marry in California. Well, and, and <laughs> I understand your perspective. We'll, we're going to keep on, no matter what happens on the legal side, on what I'm going to call the anti-side, we're going to keep preaching about the value of marriage, the value of commitment, training people how to live in relationship with one another, conflict resolution, handling their finances, developing the positive message of advancing um, uh, this, this covenant between a man and a woman that produces sound, hopefully healthy kids, la, 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 that whole discussion. Mm -hmm. um, as far as engaging in a political process um, for marriage amendments, there will be those in the evangelical community that will take up this banner and they'll be fighting it to the bitter end. I myself am working on campaigns in these three states. When we go past this election, I feel like the thing that I'm primarily called to do is preach the gospel and help the people that mm -hmm. decide by their free moral will that they want to be a part of, of my religious organization. Uh -huh. So I'm going to spend more time just propagating... Back in the church. Yeah, yeah back in the church, propagating healthy marriage. Well, uh, and, you know, it may be somebody else's turn to, you know, come out here and fight on these issues. Because uh, <laughs> that's our primary goal. I think we hit this as a coincidental... Um, kind of tangent in which we're saying, look, we got the two wings, the positive of building solid families in the church, and the negative of saying well, we're concerned uh, that we're look, having... I, I do support um, you're going back to the church and, and making sure to take care of things here and there. Uh, and, and, and I support, I, you know, uh, people believing whatever they want to believe in their church, uh, just not out in the public sphere. Listen, I, I want to thank you for coming on. I know you got to run. Uh, thanks for coming on and talking to us. And thank you for being so open to hear me out clearly. And uh, I appreciate the way I've been treated on your broadcast. And I wish you all the best. Thank you.